What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another minifig showcase. As you can see, today I have another version of Aang from The Last Airbender. I have in fact shown off two other versions of him before, the one from Extra Minifigures and the one from Minifigs.me, but this one comes from the Instagram user Bob Smith Customs. Having watched my other videos, he reached out to me asking if I wanted to look at his version, and it looked really cool, so obviously, here we are. This is a very uniquely made piece, in some ways more obvious than one. To start with, this is a representation of Aang in Season 1, and this is actually the deluxe version that he had available. The normal version does not come with the cloth or with Momo. However, the torso printing is exactly the same between the two, and for reasons I'll explain in just a second, we'll just look at this picture right now and when looking at it you can tell that the design of the minifigure is pretty simple. Now Aang's design overall isn't actually overly complicated so I think that's okay. Especially when in the show Aang's undershirt is just straight up yellow and there isn't any extra details. So while the design of this minifigure is definitely on the simpler side I can't say that it's bad. One thing that I do really like about it is the use of the dual molded arms to get the different colors between that orange and yellow. But like I said, I got the deluxe version which comes with this 3D printed cloth part over it. And yes, it is in fact 3D printed, unfortunately meaning that it is not really that movable. Which is the very reason why I didn't remove it. When I bought this, Bob Smith Customs actually told me that several of the pieces on here are rather delicate, so if I don't have to move them, to not do so. And this is one piece I'm a little iffy about. On one hand, I do think that it looks great and they really did actually capture Aang's look. On the other hand, I think it sits just a little too high on his torso compared to his head. It makes him look rather bulky for lack of a better term. Now Bob Smith has made other minifigures using cloth pieces, so I'm wondering if he had tried that first and it just didn't look good or something. But this decision was a little iffy. However, I do want to point out that for someone who has not made that many minifigures, his printing is actually pretty decent. I have absolutely no idea if this was outsourced or not, but the end result is still pretty good. The legs here are ever so slightly off, and on the back they are ever 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 so slightly off as well, but it's not really that noticeable unless you're zoomed in like this, unlike the Sokka minifigure I showed off a few weeks ago. But let's be honest here, the biggest reason that I even got this deluxe version was of course because of Momo. Why would I not get Momo if he was available? I have an Aang figure, I had to get him too. Now, Momo here is also 3D printed and hand painted, but is also the most delicate part of this build. He barely sits on the figure, and moving him is something that I would much rather not do. Now, it is actually a full version of Momo as well, not just the head here, but to show you the only connection to the rest of the minifigure is the tail wrapping around this piece here. Now, despite the fragile nature of Momo, I absolutely love his inclusion. For me, it definitely made the price of the minifigure absolutely worth it, and now if only someone could make a full-on Appa. And that's really gonna be it for this minifigure. Next month will be Jedi June, and we're gonna start with probably the most controversial one. So what's another word for a sunbeam? Alright, well, thank you for watching. Let me know your guesses in the comments down below. Remember to check me out on Instagram, Discord, and of course on Patreon so you can join all these wonderful people, get shoutouts like Jonathan, and extra entries into the monthly minifig giveaways. Now that we're at the end of the video, I'm going to apologize if you heard the fan in the background. It has been super hot, and oh my goodness, my legs have fallen asleep. Also, here's an outtake from earlier in this recording. And when looking at it, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.